Alright everybody, welcome back to another video of Two Point Campus. It's still Halloween, and uh, it's actually getting pretty close to Halloween. So, uh, happy Halloween to everybody. Or Day of the Dead. I don't know. Pretty sure Day of the Dead takes place the same day as Halloween, but I don't actually remember. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, it'll also, on this screen right here, before you go to the um, level itself, it'll show you the average grade, average student happiness, the campus level, how many students and how many staff, as you see at 30 students, 10 staff, and it shows you what courses are running. So yeah, let's let's get back into this, see if we can get two stars, and maybe if we have enough time today, could be three stars. Then later I'll go back to all the campuses and fix them up, make them look better. A weed infestation on campus, it's not good. Oh yeah, I forgot, we need some trash bins. Could have sworn I just saw a bookworm over here. But I can't tell you apart. I just choose not to. That's funny, the announcer just said I can tell you apart, I just choose not to. How rude of her. Alright, um I'll say this bench. Because these items actually are needed to create friendships, which increase, like, happiness and things like that. There you go. Dude, it's gonna be, like, impossible for anyone to sit there. It's gonna be a vending machine right next to them. It's gonna- it's gotta be the worst set, set, seat. English. Average dorm rating. Yeah, I do have some more Scientography students, so I could expand this. And actually what I can do is I can build more things for the building. Like I can expand it. Over here, I can expand this building. Or even build a building. Like, I could build a tiny building over here, for like, just staff. As you can see here, these do count as, um, benches outside. As you can see, it's one of our favorite students. Also, coffee is actually really good. Plus 10% movement speed and more energy. And as you see here, this provides inter- um entertainment and develops good friends to best friends I think it is I don't know yeah I wouldn't drink that potion if I were them but they did I'm probably gonna die but I don't take any responsibility for any deaths on campus Although I don't think his students can die, they just drop out. They're like, oh man. I got bad grades, now I dropped out. Now it's when they get really angry they drop out. When they get really bad grades they fail. And if I want, I can click a student and expel them. Just need to earn more money, get more um, campus levels, and get personal goals done. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. Hmm. Ramen power increases learning speed. The vegan kiosk tastes just like chicken. Increases health. Uh, festive cheer. 
increases, you don't need to drink as much, coffee's energy. It doesn't matter how desperate you are, no urinating on campus facilities. I think I'll get this, the clown dresser, and I'll put it right there for people to use. And I'll get the dark throne, and just set it, where would be a good spot for it? Would be like a really good spot for it. It just doesn't make any sense at all. There. Someone's just gonna be sitting there waiting for you to come out. But for right now, I'll just move it like here. I do wish you could rotate things like half angles. Like you could rotate this sideways. But I don't think you can. Wow, I just earned so much money. Increasing campus level, just hire more staff, I think. Learned students? I don't think that's a word. Yes, so this guy is definitely probably helping people with wise words ability. And he's socially outgoing. I think that means he does more of his ability as well. Because he just, he just like shows other students the answers to the quiz. This guy's also a nerd. Swatch, whatever it's called. Which I forgot, we're in year two as well now. And in year one. So we got another class clown, you can tell because of the background. Class clown, laughing matter, keeps people entertained. The SWAT, another class clown. Wait, you have a different background, are you special? No. You have a different background. Uh, another goth. Which are my favorite types of students because bestows happiness upon others. You're also a class clown, right? No, you're a rebel. You decide to fix things around campus as long as they're not supposed to. Sharpa's Tools has a knack for repair. Another class clown. And here we have a posh. Posho. Throws money at things they like. They even make a do they might they may even make a donation if they're doing well. There's more room where that came from. Sorry, there's more where that came from. Big Tipper occasionally donates to the school. Yes, I do like Paw Shows. But I just like um, the Rebels, because they, they, they basically just clean things around campus. Any objections? No? Delightful. Yes, I don't know who needs to hear this. I'd imagine it's most of you, but plating is not optional. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shoveling chowder into your sockets. Gothic, these are gothic... Bookcases are actually pretty nice because they increase uh, entertainment. Ah. It's weird. Slowing down the speed doesn't slow down the textbook worms, but then speeding it up does. Which is kind of annoying. Here, if someone wants to go sit on the crescent bench, they have to go walk all the way over here. And this one, you can rotate in any direction. So I'm going to make it slightly off. We have a romantic bench for two. I'll put it right here. Uh, Paul Show wants family tree. Also, I only want. There we go. Just in case any of the virtual normality students want to be over here, I'm giving them a seat. The Meat Wizard video game. Which, if you actually watch it, it seems extremely boring. Let's see if someone plays it. Come on. Come on! A bat poster. I actually kind of like this one. Plus, I think it increases attractiveness of the area. You need to take a shower. Increases hygiene. 
Come on, is nobody... Oh yeah, these, these people are going to be touring the campus to see if they want to come. So the better your campus is, the higher the dorm rating. Which is pretty awful. I need to fix that. Okay, let me go check this dorm's rating. Yeah, it's, it's full, it's maxed out. This dorm's rating, I might as well just turn it off and turn it back to Scientography. Copy it, make another one. Copy it, make another one. It's so expensive to do it this way. I should create one big room. Students don't like that one big room. It's weird. Because then it has less attractiveness and prestige overall, but at the same time more? I don't really know. Jeez, I've been having to do so many things. Oh yeah, so the, this lab area is so annoying. I'll be thinking, Noah, how is it annoying? You do not know how many items you have to put in here and how big and expensive these items are for students to complete their classes. So students often fail because I don't have the money for it. It's time for Yeah, I think this person's a rebel as well. Yeah, they are. Rebel. So if anything's slightly damaged, they will fix it. It's like if they just, if they want to, they will take out the trash. They'll fix items around after class. They'll pick up garbage and pull out weeds. If they wanted to be janitors, I don't think they have to go to school and pile up student debt. Who knows what you do? As we do, it does look like we have enough time to um do three stars. Also, I really can't wait to go to a cooking campus. It's probably one of my favorite ones. But yeah, so cooking campus is over here. This is Noblestead. I like that one. And I do have the all the DLCs, and that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna look at the map real quick. Because honestly, all this Halloween stuff is really cool. Alright, let's go back into this. Sometimes I'll leave campus to see if I unlocked any new schools, but you most often don't because you have to get one star in the next school to unlock this one. But that last school is actually pretty difficult. But I did do it. I got three stars in all schools except for one because it's just too difficult. With all the classes you have to do. Students should stop and take a moment. Just yeah, I'm gonna hire another janitor. Why? Because the game told me to. I'm like, sure. So I need A grade classes, upgrade a course to level four, and I need to watch ten students graduate. But watch, I mean have ten students graduate. Which all these students should probably graduate. Scientography should only be like a how long is Scientography? It tells you how many years. Also, I'm gonna do 10 students only. Three years. Apply changes. Only three people are getting in here. Sorry, only 10 people are getting in here. It means people will, ha will pay higher tuition fees, I think. No, let me increase it back to 12. But then increase the cost? No. Alright, let me just lower it to 10 because that increases learning rates. Actually, let me only increase virtual normality up a level. And then let me reduce this. So this will. Provide minus six hap percent happiness to all students who are in this class. And I honestly don't really need that much more money, so I'm gonna lower this. Because I really only want, let's just say 12 students out of 17 make it in. Not nah, 15, let's make it a, a better number. But the lower they go, the, yeah, I'm gonna okay, find 10. No, 12. Increases learning rate. It's kind of difficult to figure out how many students you really want each year to increase learning rate. You can't add no new classes as well. Lovely. 
Alright, and then we're gonna need to make another one of these, and honestly, I'm just gonna tear down all that Scientography stuff we made, and probably replace it with this. Only virtual normality. And then we copy this to over here for the new students. We could probably just leave this rest of the stuff and just let any student go to here. They'll pay higher room fees if only they can go. As you see, if I have both virtual normality and Scientography, it slightly lowers. But just Scientography. I mean, it's the same because we have so many students. That doesn't really matter. Oh my goodness, there's a bird up there. I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. Average rate is an A. I'm fine with that. Let me get these uh, same awards. Okay, let's see. What do we need now? Science station. Do science. But what is science? What exactly are they learning? Yeah, now we're going to get to the part where we have to actually like expand these places because... Actually, here's what I'm actually going to do. We don't need two doors. So let me just get rid of all this stuff, move it. I'm gonna do a bit of remodeling. Minus. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm DJ Shorts, bringing you small batch homegrown radio with the pulp left in. Here's a musical palate cleanser that's sure to wash that pre-digested rubbish out of your ears. See if you can taste the difference. There, now another one might fit somewhere. Jeez. I don't, I don't think so, actually. We could do this and just move this, sell this temporarily. Move these to over here. Then we move the door. Then we grab this and move it to here. Then now. We do this, then we make a door here. That's right, you can put multiple doors, meaning now patients can act. Uh, sorry, not patients. People can access over here, which will have two gothic bookcases, a dark throne in the middle, and it's going to be slightly off-centered, it looks like. A lot of a big glass window behind them. Some posters, a family tree photo, plant, a table, this, this. I'm literally just throwing anything that a student can do, basically, back here. Yeah. Alright, we need another science lab as well. Pick this up and move it down here. Yes. Move all this stuff somewhere else. I'm also thinking about making a new playlist. As you know, I have Noah Plays, which is where I put games on that I don't play too often, or games that I just don't want to title anything. So I'm planning. I'm really planning, but it depends on you guys as I'm, uh, if you guys want me to do this or not. On making a series, we're in. I will go to video games I've already played, and be an awful person, as awful as a person as, all, as possible. Evil Genius Two, I'll be a horrible person. Um, Two Point Campus, Two Point Hospital, horrible person. Literally any game that I've played on this channel that I can be a horrible person, I will go back and play it as a horrible person. Does that sound good to you guys? Leave your opinions down in the comments. You guys decide whether that becomes series or not. Of Roderick Cushion. Now, if you listen to popular thinking, you'd think, now there's a guy 
who's given up on his craft, there's an actor that would literally do anything for the next peer check. And sure, I can see how you could think that, but you'd be completely missing the point. When Roderick Cushion decides to do yet another truly terrible film, he's making a statement about the nature of commercial cinema. Thank you, Mr. Cushion, for fighting the good fight. I kind of like that last um, DJ's voice because he kind of sounds Scottish or something. Like, it's just he has a weird accent. Everyone else, they're just cool. That guy, he has a weird accents. Okay, yeah, inspirational speaker. I like this one. Has a chance to inspire um, the students into doing better. I also always just hire better students. Sorry, not better students. You don't hire students. I mean, you can probably pay students to come to your. Ouch, hurt my foot. That hurt. All right, start next year. And you can't actually start next year without completing all the things you need. But it will show up the course at the bottom as red if they can no longer complete it. Yeah, but I'm thinking we'll three star this hospital. Also, over here, the hot dogs. I'm pretty sure it reduces the amount that people have to eat. And also, I forgot. Let's go to our staff. Go to all staff. Oh, sorry. Just, just teachers. Happiness, good. Here. You guys. Fine, fine. I'd like to look at pay, though. Can I search by... No, I can't. Alphabetical order, I have to go. That's useless. Um... Pay, everybody seems, seems to be fine with their pay. You're fine with your pay, everybody seems to be fine with their pay. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that then. Let, out, let us also just go to here, this overview, I forgot about this. Number of staff, number of students, average everything, average levels. Things like this. Monthly profits, the academics, staff and students. Uh, the courses. All courses. Wait, why only 88%? What? Oh, 88% of people can come in. We have five teachers, four assistants, four janitors. The teacher to student radio is one for every 10.8. Resignation warnings are zero. Training requests are 11. Mostly because we can't train, that's why it's like that. So needs... You can look here at the needs of people to see where your, your campus is truly lacking. So for instance, if we had a lot down, uh, if we had really low percentages for up here, and really high percentages for over here, that'd be bad. Basically, this means 91% to 100% nine students and teachers. I think. But it's just staff. This might be just staff. This is needs, so you can figure out what your hot what your Got place is missing. You you now. Healthiness. Who's been all maxed out. Lights. Environment, not doing so good. Temperature, good. Prestige is quite low. Career, That's money, right. everybody's okay. Boogie nights concert. Training, yeah. Great. Light, Medical light, issues, light, personal light, issues, light, dropout light, warning. Light, That's right, you need a psychologist light, in this game too. I do think the campus and spoiler alert, alert needed, so like skip to like 24 I minutes into the, the video. Could have been a real train wreck. Um, the it's wizards are a temperamental bad. bunch and that's when you get the uh, personal stuff. The psychiatrist. Anyways, back to the actual gameplay. Um, annual profits, expenses, year one versus year two, look at that. We need that red bar going through the roof. Advice, none. Policy, so here we go. 20%, okay, yeah, so here's the desired salary. I always like paying them a slight bit more, about like 2% more than they actually want. Because then they'll be happier. Salary review timing is year's end. Increasing everybody's pay by 2% and they can go on breaks. Let's make them slightly happier, 27% of the time. There we go. And then now we have year three students as well. Then we have more goths, more swats, more poshes, just more people. In total. 
uh, virtual. Now, this is what I love about the library. You can put so many bookcases in here. So, for instance, now that I'm putting this in here, no matter what student comes in here, they will get a plus 5% learning power. And one time I made the most efficient library you've ever seen. It was huge. But students barely had to be in there because I put two of every single bookcase. That includes the DLC bookcases. And I wasn't even, I didn't even have every student type. But it still worked. It still works. And as you can see, people are coming over here to satisfy personal needs, goals, whatever. Okay, dorm ratings, okay. Dorm ratings, good. Dorm ratings, decent. Honestly, the, the bigger ones might rate, will rake in more money, honestly. So I should honestly just be doing the bigger ones to rake in more money, but at the same time, it's kind of the same. Because it's just 20 students. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 6, wait. How many students per bed? It's 2, right? Or is it 3? Oh yeah, and as you see here, we have too many people. Room is at capacity. We'll have to increase the amount of assistance or like increase the room size if we want to allow more people in. I'm saying we increase the amount of staff. This should allow more people in, yeah. Room capacity is now 13 instead of 11. Yes, you are what you eat. If you eat vegetables, then you are a vegetable. If you eat meat, then you are strong. Because most animals are strong, therefore if you eat meat, you become strong. If you eat vegetables, most vegetables are... I don't know, what are most vegetables? Let me think. They really could be anything. Mm, just like Mama used to make. Feed vegetables, because most vegetables are weak. They become weak? I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. But brain doesn't work, I'm afraid. But yeah, do tell me down in the comments, would you like to see be the uh, worst per the wor me playing the game? As badly as possible. Like, just trying to make things the worst for staff, students, patients, minions, anything like that. Then please do tell me down in the comments below, and I will take your advice. This also lowers healthiness. It's like illegal in like 28 different countries or something like that. Alright, A+. plus. This guy is actually about to cra um, graduate. As soon as it hits July, he graduates. Also, it's it's weird to think these students never really leave campus until they graduate. And when they graduate, the, uh, it shows a special symbol, and depending on what they graduated in, they get like, a different hat. The, sorry, uh, depending on what archetype they are. Gothics will have white hats, I think. No, yeah. And everybody else will have black caps. Class Clowns will have, like, a red hat. I think. I don't remember. Yeah, Goths are my favorite because they bestow a dark aura upon everyone, which increases their happiness. Meaning happiness for students is something you'll never have to worry about. Because there's one course that literally just only gets Goths. Which I often do, which unfortunately does come with a downside. So I don't do it unless I already have the ability to get rid of that downside or doing a class that already gets that downside. As you can see here, yeah, so this person's a rebel. They do like um, fixing things, but I really like that. I've already said that. But it's kind of useful if you have enough of them. And then again, there's, there's basically a class for every single archetype. Is there an archetype you want? You can probably get them easily there is some that don't come but there's there's a lot to do uh, comic relief was revi provided to him increasing increase it gives him entertainment for a small bit of time and plus 10 percent more happiness 
think once that 10% happiness is added fully, and then the entertainment goes away. When students are happy, they uh, move faster and learn, I think, faster. I already have a great idea for making things as worse as possible for both my students and my teachers. Foundation gets far too much criticism. Sure, there's some dodgy information about how they're funded, and they do talk a lot about the orb being the perfect ship. I can't be the only one sick of those adverts. <laughs> but really, what are they? If not a group of people coming together to appreciate some beauty in this world. Personally, I think we could all learn a little something from them. Oh yeah, the Orb Foundation. Dude, I gotta do the Orb Foundation. Eventually. Because I really like that one. It makes you money. Somehow. You, also, you can tell by their outfits what archetype they are. This guy is neutral. Versus... This guy here is class clown, as you can see. And this guy is a posho. So we, we really want to make poshos happy, that way they throw money at us. But I'm not really sure how that works. I just realized that there's skeletons underneath all these beds. Is there anything special with the closets? There's skeletons inside the closets? I wonder. Probably. Money! Making money isn't our core objective as a campus, but it's a core objective as a business. No, it's, it's both. Both are our core objectives. I don't care about the students learning, I just want their money. Well, they took out a loan to get. Look at that, half a mil. We're rich. So it should only take one more year to fully upgrade that class, and actually let me manage that class. Because now we're going to get more students for it, meaning we have to lower the amount back down to 12. In fact, what we can do is lower tuition fees to nothing. Plus 10% happiness, but I th I'm saying we put it back up to normal. I'm honestly thinking maybe we should do one of the classes for free eventually. Like, see, with only. Wait. One. One student. Dude. We could do that. Also, I'm planning for that run. Here's the thing I'm gonna do later in the game. I'm gonna do a sandbox, of course. Because if not, then it'd be basically just impossible to do. Apply changes. Changes will become active by next academic year. A Scientography bookcase unlocked. Which again gives plus two learning. It's not just a theory. It's a fact. Based on a true story, virtual normality. Wait, what did that person want? It's probably something to do with, yeah. A VR projector. Was it? They're in the third year, that's why they need it. But they forgot about that whole third year. Hmm. It appears I have nowhere to put it. It's a bit drizzly outside. Here's what we could do. We can move this. And by move it, I mean delete it. No, I wanted that. I think so. I think people will probably fail the class because of that by accident. Accidentally, it randomly disappeared. There we go. This increases learning by 2%. Can't hurt you physically. Not yet. But one day. Yes, all I really need is students to graduate, then I'm leaving. I'm out of here. And then the video will be over. You just have to wait till July. Honestly, the biggest problem about Two Point Hospital was it was very difficult and there was really nothing to do. You would just sit there. This game, the main problem is you have to wait till the year's over, which does take quite some time.
Inspectors new to the campus. Yeah, I can't wait to see most of my students graduate, all like 10 of them, including some of our favorite students. And you guys didn't leave me any comments down below of what to rename staff or students. So please do leave it for a next video that I'm going to be making of this. Tell me, janitor, student, assistant, or teacher, what do you want me to change their name to? And I may do it. It's not a guarantee. Someone else might have a better name. And I'm only going to be incorporating three names. This guy's going to fail his class. Because I just I don't have enough kudosh. Sucks to be him. That one guy who's like, hey, we need you to use this microscope. But then we don't have one. It's not my fault. It's it's the teacher's fault. I didn't plan these classes. They did. I'm, I'm not the principal. I'm the organizer of this business. Failed to complete assignment. Yeah, he failed assignment. Failed to complete assignment. I think it takes a small bit of his happiness away. Along with lowering his grades. And if he fails enough classes, he will fail and leave campus. Also, what is with that hairstyle? Green and red? Green, green red, and black? That doesn't even look like hair. It looks like ceramic. I hope you've taken your medication because this guy has a proper hairstyle. Here on two -point radio. And a fake mustache. Then this teacher looks tired. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice <laughs> Doesn't even get a break. He's like, man, I can't wait to take a break. It's gonna be a huge Class is now day. starting. So Will one rolls, Mr. Robert please come to class? He's like, oh man, I just won't take a break now to go back to class. Why me? Why me? He can't physically go in there, so he's like, wait, 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 what, 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 wait, what, wait, what, what's going on? I can't, I can't walk, what's going on? Okay, make room. Alright, yeah, A plus as well. Winged serpents. I read an art, I read this article, the night. With which to strengthen the moon's power. Oh, please, I think it'd be lovely. Let me make sure these really line up. There we go. Nope, sorry. Nope, sorry. Alright, now we copy this room. <laughs> no, not copy the campus. Copy the staff room over here. Increase the size of the staff room. Actually, no, we're not going to. We'll keep it same old, same old staff room. Although, ever so slightly bigger. And with a few new objects in it. To increase happiness. Ever so slightly. Wouldn't you be slightly happier if there was a potted plant inside of a jack-o'-lantern which is somehow on fire? Inside of your staff room? I wouldn't be. Why is it on fire? Who thought it'd be a good idea to, to light a plant on fire? And then just leave it there? I bet it was Jimmy. I don't know anyone named Jimmy. Okay, that's the end of the year, but I'm not done building this. I don't care. Go leave campus. Actually, I do care. As you see, they're all wearing their hats. Leaving campus. Graduated. So, now what? Yeah, how are you going to pay off those student debts? What job are you going to get? You're going to go work? For Mick, what was his name again? David? Yeah, it was Mick Davids. You gonna go work at Mick Davids? All these people are gonna end up working like normal jobs, even though they got a high school degree in science and virtual normality, which kind of just sounds useless. I can't upgrade this. You gotta be kidding me. We need to start next next class. We need a virtual normality teacher. You there. You're hired. Okay. Now make this 
staff only. Only staff can use this. And then this over here, it's gone. What I want to know is why don't they try something a little funkier? I mean, how many times do we have to do the same old bunch of astronaut things? Why not send up a load of sandwiches? Or a robot? Or that angry badger that lives in my garden? Because it doesn't fit with their agenda. That's why. Are those spiders in the shower? You gotta be kidding, that's hilarious. Is that what is that? Mm. Towels. We need towels for our, our um staff. These staff rooms will be of the utmost quality. Window. A potted plant. Don't you just love a potted plant in the shower room? That just doesn't make any sense, man. Potted plant in the shower room. Yeah, staff room has reached capacity. Now we just gotta speed through this. I could just pause it, the recording, and just wait, and it would be a second for you, but like 12 minutes for me, but I'm gonna let you suffer and watch through this. Same thing we've done before, let's do it once more. Why? Because we're crazy. Like I seriously, I had the, I had the best uh, one. I had max comic mass ma ma max cosmic comic timing for the laughing. I've had a la maximum library management and maximum happiness, so they never had to basically leave. Then I had multiple. Thank you. No, no, no! Students required for groundskeeping. Go get those rebels to do it. Tell them they're not allowed to do it, and they'll do it anyways. They're like, you're not the boss of me, old man. Then they'll do it anyways. Unfortunately, I don't think I works for real people. You could probably try it. But I don't think it'll work. Also, what's with these windows? Also, why is there bats and spider webs? What's, what's with that? And now we can actually play some these here. And also, all these doors have the fire thingy. All, all of them. I think all campuses in Britain are like required to have this fire exit thing. But I don't know, because I'm not British. I've forgotten what this segment was going to be about. Do you ever just forget what you are going to say? Thoughts are like frogs, and sometimes they just hop away. But they know what they're doing. If I still knew, we'd never have had this moment. It feels right. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Here's a song. Yeah, I totally agree with Harrison Wolf when he, what he just said. Thoughts are like frogs. Sometimes they just hop away. And you don't remember what you're thinking about or what you're going to say. Harrison Wolf is definitely the smartest person in this entire video game. And he lives in a van. Is that enough prestige? What do they need? I think it's enough. Other than that, I failed it. Hey, we're already in November. We need to wait till December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It's weird how the year starts. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, students don't get a summer break. We have all 12 months of the year. All 365 and a quarter days. Because I'm pretty sure there's more than 365 days. 
Isn't it like why every four years we have like a leap year where there's like one extra day in a month? Because they're adding all those quarter days together? I don't know. Why not just make their quarter day at the end of the year and that be New Year's? And once that quarter day is actually over, then the new year starts. When is New Year's? Isn't it like the last- it's the last day of the year. Yes, yeah, so then it makes sense for that quarter day to be the last day of the year. Because technically, New Year's Eve then is not the last day- I don't know, man. I really don't know. Alright. I'm not a scientist. Or am I? You'll never know. I'm not, actually. Anything I say is not scientifically proven. Okay, yeah, now let me... Does this look nice? No. How about this? But I like that. Yeah, let's make the areas around here... Like grass. It just looks nice, you know? Let's make this a little bit of grass there. Oh, I couldn't forget it. Wrong tile. Smell my cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problems. Hmm, I like it better this way. Alright, now let's add, let's add more dirt around the area. Feeling dirt here would look nice. Dirt here, dirt here, dirt here. Let's expand this area with some more dirt. Let's turn all this to dirt, then turn it back to the pathway it was. Oops, wrong button. I kind of like that. No, no, no. Like this. Then we add... Dirt. Like that. Ah, there we go. I'll fix the whole pattern in the middle later. Let's add some grass. I like the cut grass look. Makes it look less natural. More fake. Having it not. Okay, let's put down some gravel. Then over top of it, we put that. Because I feel like that has a nice look to it. The gravel, then over top of it, some road. And I completely messed that one up. Let me fix that. Just doing grounds work. There we go. Now we do this. This should create some gravel on the edges. There we go. I don't think it's worth it to do it everywhere, so I'm just going to do it there. Let me put in some more dirt. Like that. All around here, it'd be nice to have dirt rather than gravel. I'm feeling that gravel should really only be... ...underneath the roads. Also, here and here, I'm going to make it no cuts, because it doesn't make any sense for people to be able to cut there that easily. Some dirt around here. No dirt, not gravel. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. Some dirt paths throughout all here. Sort of like some just some just some dirt around the area. Like people have been running around here damaging things, perhaps. I don't know. Just make a look at this area has been well walked. Like people walk around here quite often. Or that it rained and then people ran on the grass and then it got muddy. Then everybody died. Why? I don't know. I didn't come up with this. You did. I think we combined the plot, and I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I was gonna la landscape over here. Why? Because editors can change what you say. They can make me say, Hey everyone, come to my house and take my petunias. But I'd never say that outside of this specific example. 
It's got to be natural, man. Give me juice with the pulp in. Give me cheese with the wax on. This is Radio O Natural. It's El Fresco. It's El Dente. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. That's why, that's why I am my editor. Because I am not Harrison Wolf. Wait, the rain isn't her fault? I thought the rain was her fault. My mistake. I was gonna burn her on the stake because I thought she was a witch. I'm just joking, people. I wouldn't burn anyone on a stake. Probably. Maybe. I don't know, it depends. Is it Tuesday? Because if it's Tuesday, then no. It depends on why I want to burn this person on a stake. Then I can tell if it's a valid reason or not. This bench is not centered. <laughs> I built this entire thing and it's just not centered. It's fine. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating. Super you secret romantic spot to take your date to. Not obvious at all. Wait, what's this? Line placement, what? Oh, I think I understand. That's all dirt. I like a planter, then I like to make the flowers. That looks like pink. Why is it purple? Am I colorblind? That's pink, right? Why is it purple here? Why are the different colors? And they actually show. Why is it blue? I don't get these flowers. Students pink flowers. Totally romantic. Definitely not gonna eat, eat you, because they're actually monster plants. Although it does look like they're moving. That's weird. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sure. Uh, no. 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 A student lounge? Sure. There you go. <laughs> oh, this door, don't worry, I'll move it. And all of these things are actually quite useful. Okay, I'm going to change the color to the black color. Because I like the um, granite on top. Is it granite? I don't know. It just looks nice. In the fridge, I'm also... I'm going to do this color because it sort of matches with the granite. Oh, then my favorite thing. Where is it? Is it here? Do I, have, do I have to unlock it or is it automatically unlocked? I don't- I think I have to unlock it. For this room. I don't know, let me look. Yeah, it looks like I do. There's just one item that I absolutely love to put in here because it makes no sense at all. What? No, I don't want to cancel room. No. Overview. And awards. Where is it? I was watching some of that cheesy gubbins show the other day. You know, the cheesy goblins? Man, was I confused. What's their deal? Do they grow the gubbins? Are they trying to find them or mine them or something? I tell you, kids must be pretty smart these days to follow such a complex show. Mm -hmm. The hat to any kids listening along. Well, I can't find it. It's like a jug of milk, milkshakes. Yeah, milkshake. It's just a giant, it's just one giant milkshake. That's what it is. No, I don't want any of these. I want to move the room to over here. Then I would like to move this to over here. Then I'd like to edit this room 
Delete the door. Let me delete the door. I want to delete it. Move it like here. Move this door to here. Then see if I can attach the rooms via here. So that all students must go through the student lounge to get to school. No wait, I don't think TD- Oh, no, I think I know why. Teachers and assistants and janitors- So yeah, teachers and assistants, I don't think can go into this room. So I can't make it like that, unfortunately. Oh my god, end of the year. We forgot. Oops. There we go. Three stars, meaning the next place is gonna be... The next hospital. So let me... First off, just buy all the plots with buildings, because why not? What? Oh yeah, now let me expel someone. You there, I don't like you. I wish you told me that before I attached... to Before I attached to this place. I wouldn't have ironed my trousers for a start. He's been here for three years. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. He's been here for so long that we just expel him and just start next year. I was like, what? Where did. Where did. Where did. Boy Colt Fairfax go? He got expelled. And then before he gets expelled, I'm legally changing his name to Expelled. There. <laughs> He's expelled. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's so funny. I love naming new students expelled and then expelling them. One, I like almost right before they graduate. Uh, man, I'm such an awful person in video games, you know? Because it's just funny. Okay, exit to map, save and quit. We will be going to the next place, the cooking campus, which is a bit of a giveaway. But, you know... It's, it's, it's a bit of a spoiler, but you probably played this game already. It's been out for like a year. You just had to look here to figure it out. But anyways, I hope you liked and subscribed, because if you didn't, then, um... Nothing will happen. But if you like and subscribe, you might get better grades in school. Who knows? It might happen. It's not scientifically proven. But, it's not scientifically disproven either. I haven't heard of a scientific study of people who are subscribed to no clue getting better or worse grades in school, but who knows, maybe you'll get better grades in school. And you won't fail, and then your parents won't be mad at you. And then you realize that your degree is completely useless, and now you're working at some random convenience store, because you can no longer use a degree, because everybody else went for the same degree and got slightly better grades than you, so they hired that person instead of you. Or there's just no more space for doctors. So you have to move out of town, and you never see your parents again. But anyways, as always, till next time, goodbye. That wasn't really a joke, though. That whole segment there, that's not really a joke. It's pretty serious. Too many people with education is not um, enough space for those jobs, I've heard. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. But yeah. Goodbye.